A very happy and blessed morning to all of you. I am Dr. Usha from MLA First Grade College for Women presenting a paper on HRM practices in sericulture sector which are based in Karnataka. I would like to commence my presentation by quoting Let noble thoughts come to us from all directions. Dear friends, it is a known fact that sericulture is a labor intensive and rural based agro cottage industry. It is the only cash crop that gives returns within 30 days with minimum investment and maximum employment potentiality. Coming to global scenario, Asia is the main producer of silk in the world. It produces 95% of total global output. China, Japan, South Korea, Brazil, Thailand, Iran and India are the leading producers of silk in the world. The demand for silk is increasing by 5% every year due to increasing demand for silk items from the developed countries like USA, Germany, East Europe, etc. Despite its significance, sericulture sector in India are struggling to gain sustainable business growth. From the annual report of Central Sericulture, I could identify three factors that affected the business performance. They are First one, this sector did not pay more attention to HR practices. Second one, HR issues in this sector are totally neglected by the policy makers. Third one, this sector do not have systematic knowledge management practices. Because of this, they are not able to produce quality products and process with updated technology. Therefore, it has become cry of the hour to study the relationship between HRM practices and perceived business performance by considering knowledge management as the mediating factor. From the review of literature, it was found that lack of research on HRM practices in sericulture sector has resulted in lack of information about the working style of the people in this sector. Again, HR theories are developed and tested in large organizations by developed economies. Now the question is whether such theories are suitable for small units like sericulture sector in India. Again, knowledge management as the mediating factor to HRM practices and business performance has received little attention in research in sericulture sector. Therefore, the present study is undertaken where an effort is made to find the answer to the following questions. Question number one, is there any relationship between HRM practices, knowledge management and perceived business performance. Question number two, is there a mediating effect of knowledge management on the relationship between HRM practices and business performance? Based on a literature review, a conceptual model is designed wherein HRM practices is considered as independent variable Perceived business performance is considered as dependent variable and knowledge management is considered as mediating variable. For the purpose of present study, four hypotheses were formulated. They are, there is a significant relationship between HRM practices and perceived business performance. That is the first one. Second one. There is a significant relationship between HRM practices and knowledge management. 
third one there is a significant relationship between knowledge management and perceived business performance fourth one knowledge management mediates the relationship between hrm practices and perceived business performance in this study cronback alpha method is used to measure the reliability of the statements from the results i could find that the cronback alpha values for all the 13 statements exceeds 0.70 which signifies that the instrument is reliable according to international trade center silk review report 2018 in karnataka every district has sericulture but in bangalore rural chikbalapur kolar and ramnagaram district sericulture is carried on row system that too under irrigated conditions mulberry cultivation under rain fed conditions found to be very negligible therefore i selected these four districts as the locale of the study for the purpose of study cross sectional design is adopted structure questionnaire method is used to collect the primary data from the employees of sericulture units and secondary data is collected from the annual reports journals newspapers theses websites etc the study followed multi stage sampling method wherein in the first stage 24 sericulture units which satisfied two criteria are selected the two criteria are first one sericulture units should be involved in mulberry cultivation and silk worm rearing second one sericulture units should employ a minimum of 10 employees on the other hand 20 employees having minimum of 5 years of experience are selected from each of the select uh, sericulture units and thus making the total number of respondents to 480 the statistical tools used in this study are carl pearson correlation coefficient and multiple regression analysis with regard to research findings as mentioned earlier we formulated two research questions question number 1 is there a relationship between hrm practices knowledge management and perceived business performance to measure the relationship between these components correlation coefficients were calculated and the results are as follows all the variables of hrm practices have positive and significant relationship with perceived business performance at 5% level and r value ranges from 0.31 to 0.51 hence hypothesis 1 is accepted but the strength of the relationship between four hrm variables namely human resource planning training and development pay and benefits and performance appraisal with perceived business performance found to be very low where the r value ranges from 0.31 to 0.38 So coming to the second part I also measured the relationship between HRM practices and knowledge management and I found positive and significant relationship between them therefore H2 is accepted but even in this case the strength of the relationship found to be very low where R value ranges from 0.31 to 0.36 With regard to KM practices and perceived business performance, the components of knowledge management have non-significant relationship with perceived business performance. Therefore, H3 is not accepted. The second research question is: Is there any mediation effect 
of knowledge management on the relationship between HRM practices and pursued business performance. To measure the mediation effect, I adopted the procedure suggested by Barron and Kenny and the results are as follows. All the HRM variables have significant impact on pursued business performance with the presence of knowledge management and also without the presence of knowledge management. But the beta value has decreased with the presence of knowledge management. This indicates that knowledge management has partial mediation effect on the relationship between HRM practices and pursued business performance. Therefore, H4 is accepted. This is the research model designed based on the findings of the study. Coming to discussion. Sericulture units are finding difficult to develop an effective HR plan because these units do not have HR data. The second one, more importance is not given to training need assessment. Because of this, it cannot advance the growth of employees' requisite skills. Third one, the unit does not follow compensation policies according to the market trends. The fourth one is, managers are not trained regarding how to assess and give a true and fair feedback to the employees about their performance. Fifth one, research and development found to be undermined in these units. The sixth one, employees in these units have education up to school level. Hence, they are unable to understand the modern techniques of sericulture. Because of these gray areas, fluctuating trends is observed in productivity and sales. Coming to implications, the outcome of the study will contribute to the existing literature on HRM by providing empirical evidence that knowledge management can act as mediator in the relationship between HRM practices and business performance. The practical implications are adequate training should be provided to the employees at regular intervals. These units should entertain open house discussion with a culture of trust and it should adopt structured feedback mechanism to make their performance appraisal system effective. Again, formal HR practices should be followed to enhance the working style of the employees. Coming to methodological implications, longitudinal study on the moderating effect of organization culture on the relationship between HRM practices and business performance in sericulture sector should be conducted because in Indian context such type of studies may throw new light on HR theory and practice. And finally, the present study is limited to Karnataka. It would be better to conduct a similar study by taking a large sample from all states of India because from such studies we can understand better the mediating effect of knowledge management on HR practices and business performance. So finally, I conclude my speech by uh, saying it is my humble duty to express my gratitude to Professor Bolana Datta and other stakeholders of MTC Global for organizing an enlightening and mega event and giving me an opportunity to participate in this program which I consider as a temple of learning. Thank you.